Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ivan here, coming at you from two webcams right now, one of which is running in OpenCV and the other is like in OBS, basically. And uh, in this video, this is Learn OpenCV by Making Memes number four. And if you ask me like, what's gonna be better than memes that are made in OpenCV with your own face and body, I will tell you probably not much is really better than that. And so in this video, we'll learn how to work with the webcam on OpenCV and make memes with it. So are you guys excited? If you are, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and let's start. So basically, you know, I created the new file called it webcam memes.py and I import, you know, numpy as in p, I import cv2, which is how we import OpenCV. And here's where the fun begins. Uh, I use the cv2.video capture object basically here, and I say that VC video capture guy is equal to cv2.video capture. And here in the brackets, this like mysterious zero, uh, which stands for the index of the webcam, which is like when you have several webcams. Uh, for instance, you know, I have right now two webcams, you know, and right now the first one is basically my laptop's webcam here, which you can see in OpenCV, the second one in OBS. So, uh, you know, if, if I have like two webcams, the first one will be like by the index of zero and the second one will, the second one will be by the index of one. Uh, but here's the thing, right? And, it's, and, and it can come in handy for you to know at some point, right? For instance, my second webcam here, it's used in OBS, so I can only access, access it in OpenCV uh, if I go in OBS and I basically de deactivate it here. So when I deactivate it here, I can now also like you know run my second webcam in OpenCV like this. Uh, okay, let me pull myself back on here. Ba -ba -bum, activate. Here I am. So this is kind of how we work with the indices of the web webcams. You know, if you have like several, uh, you know, just play around with the numbers. Right, it starts with zero and up to how many webcams you got. Uh, OpenCV is really cool, cool in this regard that you can like easily you know pull the video from the webcam. Uh, into your code and needless to say that like you know the frames that you see here they're like actual frames you know remember like the actual you know number that we can work and modify and apply all of the OpenCV function that, uh, function that we have and it's invaluable for making memes uh, right so here's the interesting part right uh, then we go into the cycle quite obviously you know so that we can update our frames and so when we're in a cycle uh we basically you know call the from this like video capture guy it's got the function called read and the read function returns uh two things it returns as the has frame and frame now has frame it's basically it's a bit of a useless guy when it comes to webcams because it's always going to be true as long as we have frames and with webcams it's kind of like the entire thing of the webcams that you know, they kind of always have the frame. We can always like pull the new frame, but when we have the video, this guy can be false when the video comes to an end. And the frame guy will be like our actual frame that we can then go on to like display uh, using the game show function. And I'll go back to this line of code in you know, a moment, basically. Uh, now, this wait key guy. And if you remember previously, we used the wait key of zero. Now we're using the wait key of one. Here's the thing, you might ask, you know, why not just, uh, you know, why not just, you know, run the, pull the frame, you know, display the frame, just in the while true loop, just in that cycle, why do we need some sort of like wait key to work with it? Because, you know, when we just launch it like without any wait key in the cycle, as you can see, it just will not work, you know, it, the wait key provides some, provide some sort of delay. Uh, for the program so that, you know, uh, the frames can be updated probably or something like that. And if we use the wait key of zero as we have used before, uh, it, as you can see, like remember the wait key zero, it kind of like stalls the program before we press any key. So uh, when I press like any key on my keyboard, like the space key, say, if I hold the space key, it appears like almost as if, you know, uh, almost as if, the video is moving, but really, you know, the program stops in the cycle with the wait key zero until I press like any button and it keeps moving. Now, 
that's why we kind of use the wait key one because it doesn't stall the program like it keeps going so you know everything is like smooth and nice with it now if we print the wait key one and i'll now and i will kind of show how i like to actually initialize the webcam uh with the wait key one we print the wait key one it will be minus one it doesn't stop the program and it provides that delay so that the whole thing actually works you know with the wait key uh but when I press any button, you can see here, it kind of prints us the index of that button and opens, you kind of get the like indices for all buttons uh, and you can like build nice stuff with it. Say escape is 27 quite famously in OpenCV and I'm pressing the escape and you can see like 27s appearing there, uh, right? So knowing that, here's how I actually like to in initialize, uh, initialize the webcam loop such that we have actually a way to get out of there. Uh, you know, I like to do this this way, so that we have the wait key and we can get out of there. I like to, you know, make it like this. While CV2 wait key, uh, wait key one is lesser than zero, and remember, like, it's always lesser than zero, so, so long as, like, we don't press any key, right? Because remember, it's just, you know, minus one, minus one, minus one, but then when I say press escape, it turns into 27. And so this way, uh, if we initialize the whole loop this way, right, when I, when I say press like any key on the keyboard, the wait key is no longer, uh, it's no longer minus one. And so we get out of the loop basically, which is what we want. It, if you think about it, it's gonna be pretty cool. Cause like our goal is that, you know, we capture an image of ourselves and then we can press any key, save the image, you know, make a meme with it and get out of the loop. That's what we're, that's what we are like aiming to do here. Uh, and then we can say, for instance, CV2 wait key zero, which is like, which, 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 that's a weird image, uh, which, uh, you know, we're in this loop, right? We're receiving the frames from the webcam and we are, uh, when we press any key, you know, this guy, gets greater than zero so we get out of this loop and we get out get to this like wait key guy here and you know if you think about it like when we add some cool stuff to it you know we can start really making memes with it now you know but just running the you know video from the webcam it's kind of like not making memes you know it's not that fun really right so why not we use the trick that we learned from the previous video where we you know iterated over like each pixel in the image why not do that on the frame actually? So we'll say uh, height, uh, width, and depth will equal to frame that shape. And then we can run the cycle to iterate over each pixel basically. <clears throat> and so remember that uh, the C guy here stands for channels and we can access the image and remember that the first guy in the brackets to access the pixels like the first guy is uh, you know the rows which is like the y the, the the height then it's the columns which is like x and then it's the depth so we say h c will equal to and let's let's add the negative effect there okay it's not image it's it's, it's frame here and then 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 we'll say frame uh we'll say that the pixel will equal to 255 minus uh the pixel let's check it out and bam we got the negative effect working in open cv i mean it's it's pretty creepy but that's i think how it's supposed to look like because we're basically you know reversing the pixel if, if the pixel was you know white 255 minus 255 that's zero now, now the pixel is black and watch the video, I talk about that more like in the previous video, if you have not, uh, but like that's what we get. And remember we, because of the mechanics of the array, we can use actual sorts of constants here and get all sorts of effects. Like for instance, you know, this sort of like weird effect, like some noisy effect, I kind of like it, I can work with it. Uh, but let's check, let's check out like 122. Okay. I uh, like the constant here, 144. Basically remember that because of the mechanic of the two to the power of eight bit uh, NumPy array, you know, it 
it can't really get beyond uh, beyond beyond like it, 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 like the the pixel value always stays in range of from zero to two fifty five. So that you know even if somehow the value here, for instance, gets like my one forty four minus two fifty five, if it gets becomes like negative value, like it still rotates back to the uh, range between zero and two fifty five. Talk about that more in the previous video. Let's check it out. But I mean, I'm looking at it, and we can try all sorts of constants here, but I'm looking at it, and I can already imagine what kind of meme I'm going to make with it. But here's something, you know, to talk about. Like, as you can see, the uh, first of all, maybe you can hear, you can may not hear, my laptop has started to heat up, uh, and the frames aren't actually, you know, it's not actually real time, because it, you know, takes time for the program to, you know, run the loop over each pixel in the image which makes sense which makes sense so you know it takes some time and remember the resize function uh it's you know for instance if we want to decrease the amount of time it takes for our image to for 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 uh you know say how can we speed up the process well you know we can get better hardware and like better cpu to run the code or we can basically make our frame smaller say make our frame uh, if we resize, resize our frame to be, uh, say, like 50 by 50, now it will run, run much faster because there will basically be... Uh, what's the problem? Okay, guys, I, I, I found out the problem. I mean, obviously, uh, we can first resize, uh, resize uh, our image to make it smaller and then we gotta like... Uh, take the height, the width, and the depth of it again because it changes. Uh, and then if we, uh, as you can see now, it's actually almost real time there, but the image is kind of small, so we can uh, get it back, uh, get it back to be bigger. And this is kind of also like the whole meme art thing in itself, where you, uh, I call it again, the Chinchope effect, where you make the image first small and then you make it back. To be big again and uh, to say make it 500 by 500 from 50 by 50 here so you're like so you're like it's it's again it's kind of like the, the pain stuff you know you take the image you squish it and then you bring it back to be bigger uh so here when we do this we got the pixel image uh which 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 looks uh which looks like the way it looks pretty much Again, if you want that pixel look, you can add the parameter here. Uh, you can add the parameter here of like interpolation, and I'll be like that pixel look. Remember? Yeah, like this. And I think that that might actually be cool for some memes. And let's uh, let's let's. I can already kind of picture the kind of meme I'm going to make, but. Let's first figure out figure out a way to save the meme. So let me put the text, and now we'll learn how to save memes like that. So, so yeah, that's kind of what's going to be my meme. But I would like to actually decrease a little bit the. Uh, chinchopiness of the of the image actually let's let's check it out without any resizing really okay in this case you know in this case I actually like it to be you know like more 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 high resolution basically I kind of think think it suits the meme uh, this way yeah, something like this. And so, say our goal is to be able to, uh, be able to, like, you know, stop the image uh, at some point. You know, we want to, like, click any key on our keyboard, and then we want to be able to, like, save this this image, save our meme. Uh, how can we do that? That's a damn good question. Basically, remember, uh, right, once we press any key, once we press like any key, we get out of this loop because the weight key gets greater than zero, so we get out of here basically. And then we get this weight key zero. So we can say pretty much, we can say like, mm, 
before, uh, before, before, before that weight key actually. We can again add our construction that we've you know explored before, so I'll just you know, type it out quickly. Okay, so I just typed out the construction that we know from the previous videos and here's how it works, right? Whenever we press any key, uh, we'll get out of this loop uh, and it'll ask us do we want to save our meme. When we say yes, it'll ask us to name our meme and we'll add, it, we'll add there the .gpg extension such that the meme can be saved and then we'll use the cv2 in write function to actually save our meme. Now, let me show you how it works. So basically, you know, uh, I launch the thing, right? I pose for, for the meme. You know, we're making memes with ourselves. I mean, how cool is that? You know, uh, it's kind of like, you know, it was all fun and games before, you know, we actually started to get into the zones where we're like legitimately can be making memes that you can't really make other places, right? Because you're using your webcam on your computer. You're like using your effects. Like, I don't know where you could have this much freedom with making memes. and. You know, it's a nice bonus. You can also like do deep learning and computer vision with OpenCV. Uh, as a nice bonus, you know, it's mostly the point people use it is like memes. So let me pose something like this. So as do you want to save your meme? I say yes. Uh, super smart meme. Bam. Let's check it out. Super smart meme. There it is, guys. And so that's how you can make memes with your web webcam. Now, uh, remember this line of code. This line of code is basically uh, kind of like cropping, cropping images. So we can, you know, we'll talk about that more, but I basically, you know, cropped my uh, laptop webcam so that, uh, you know, it stays basically the background is nice and smooth. Uh, just as on the main webcam. So, yeah. so yeah, we can basically, basically, you know, crop the background by taking slices. We'll explore that more in the future videos. But for now, uh, you know, I think that there is a lot of freedom and a lot of ways that you can play around with making memes with your face and the webcam. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you did. Ways to support me are in the description down below. Thank you so much if you do. If you want to send me your memes that I can do a meme review video, link to do that is in the description as well. Hope you guys and your loved ones are staying safe during the uh, this you know challenging time and hopefully you know with enough memes and courage and will we'll get through it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.